here's a prescription for your mental well-being. A regular dose of positive conversation from BYU Radio's The Lisa Show podcast. I think a lot of us feel really disconnected and really busy with our everyday lives and we want to sort of figure things out on our own. But when we come together, I've really found that these interesting conversations that we're able to have on The Lisa Show really bring people together. We talk about a lot of topics that are universal like mental health and and uh, parenting and relationships. One of the things that makes The Lisa Show unique is that it's largely unscripted. In every episode, there's usually high moments where you know, laughing about something, and sometimes there's really vulnerable moments. Something that tells the truth and leaves you with a hopeful feeling. Mother's Day brings out a lot of different and varying emotions for a lot of different women. So I have some comedy experience. I co-founded with some friends, The Thrillionaires, which is theater as improv. And I've tried to create that element of improvisation and performance into The Lisa Show. <laughs> no one will care. I live an exciting life. <laughs> So the Council of Moms started uh, a, a while ago when we thought, well, I wonder what people really think about this issue. Like we know what a pediatrician might say, but what do people, what does the mom who's a pediatrician really do? I think motherhood is interesting because it can be so isolating and you convince yourself that you're the only one experiencing the problems that you're experiencing and then you open your mouth and you realize we're all kind of dealing with the same stuff. As my children got older, I realized that I needed advice from people with other perspectives, other experiences. I've appreciated so much the vulnerability that my guests have brought, uh, that the stories that they are able to share, the heartbreak, the laughter, everything in between. And I feel comfortable doing that as well because I realize the benefit of it. My late husband, Christopher, um, he had ALS and lived with it for four and a half years. Um, before he passed away in June of 2020. He used to always say, you're gonna help a lot of people by the way that you talk about going through these hard things. And I realized then that I had a responsibility and, and a desire to help ease other people's burdens. Because of the faith tradition that I have, I see other people through those through that lens, right? And so I can I see and I try to see the divinity in them um, and, and knowing that they have a journey that's different than mine um, helps me to be able to think of like, you know, kind of what of our, our mutually shared purposes are. Expand your circle of friends to include Lisa Valentine Clark and her guests when you download the Lisa Show podcast from BYU Radio. It's always available on the free BYU Radio app, and you can find it on BYU Radio's broadcast schedule. I'll see you again for another BYU TV Insider.